In this problem, we are being asked to graph a logarithmic function, in this case, the log base 2 of x. And we should think about this, you know, the log base 2 of some number is going to be the power uh, that you raise uh, 2 to to get that number, which can be confusing. So if it helps to rewrite it also in exponential form, that, that might be good. But really, we're going to go about graphing this the way we would go about graphing anything. We're going to make a chart of our x and y values. Now y is going to be the log base 2 of x, which really means it's going to be the power of 2 to get x. So if the result, let's say, is 1, that is 2 to the 0 power. So the log base 2 of 1 is 0. And another way to think about it is it, 2 is our base. You raise it to the 0 power, you get 1. So, and this b stands in for our y here. So it's good to, to pick some, some numbers here that are going to uh, work out really easily in our equations. 1, 0 is a point on this graph. So let's go ahead and plot that. Let's see um, what happens when we get a little um, further down here. Let's take um, a y value of negative 1. So what this means is the power that we raise 2 to is going to be negative 1. Well, 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half. So our x is going to be 1 half. So at negative 1, we've got 1 half. What happens when the power is negative 2? Well, 2 to the negative 2 is 1 over 2 squared, or 1 fourth. So we get negative 2 and 1 fourth. And you'll see there's no power that we can raise 2 to to get 0. So we're going to have an asymptote along the y-axis. So we'll draw that in. And this tail down here is going to get closer and closer and closer, smaller and smaller fractions, but never quite touching 0. Let's plot at least one more point out to the right, though. Um, let's raise it to the second power. Well, let's raise it to the first power. We haven't done that yet. 2 to the first power is just 2. So the point 2, 1 is going to be on here. And 2 to the second power is 4. So 4, 2 is going to be on here. And now you can really see the shape of this graph. We're going to have this long descending tail and then this beautiful curve that comes out like that. So that is how to graph a logarithmic function.